hard to know. Let's get ready, though. We're moving into the bands and picks here for game number two in just a moment, Tolly. Totally. Where do you come down on Nuwa? Do you think she should be – why is she being valued so much? Do you agree with it? Where do you come down on her? I don't think that she should be first picked. Mm -hmm. Even before secondary phase, I don't there's think so just either. a lot of vulnerability into her that she has to worry about. And then she has to get a little bit close to drop those clay golems on the correct target that she wants to drop. The only thing that she has that I think uh, competitive players are valuing very highly is the fog. The mechanic of hiding under the fog for not only yourself but your allies. Sure. allows maybe using that fog for your support or your soul laner to be the first one in. They can kind of sneak and get a little bit closer than normal and maybe not take as many pot shots trying to gain position as they normally do. Can be strong. We'll see if it's strong enough. This feels almost like a replay of our game number one picks and bans. Alquang and Giannis taken away from, from Johnny and taken away from Fair Creek as well. And then the Jorman Gunner and the Fafnir banned out by Flashpoint. So now the question becomes, does Simplicity make some adjustments here or do they go right back to the same thing? Why change what wasn't broken? Get that Circuit one more time. Give her genetics. Genetics had a fantastic showing being the engager and yeah. initiator. I think that they're going to do the same thing this time. If it ain't broke, don't fix it like you were saying before. But Global pressure, whether it's the new wow. or the right of Tasker, it's still good picks in order to dive the backline for any stragglers that are very low in the health department. So I still like the right of Tasker pick, though. Rat comes through for Johnny, very likely, despite the now. game being a little bit lackluster. And here's our adjustment. Kronos has been pulled away from streak up. So Flashpoint do think this Kronos was a big part of the problem. And to be fair, he did make life a little bit hard for Kaspanify in the matchup over there. So pull this one out, try and make simplicity, make some adjustments oh, elsewhere to play without it. And almost instantly, they go to the Uller. This could still go to either either one, by the way. This could still be for Death Panther or for streak up. Yeah, I definitely think it is going to go for Death Panther, something that he's just more confident in and especially mm -hmm. if you're going to be against yes, a squishy mage, whether it's Kronos or another mage, you want that pushing power. Now I think Flashpoint, Farrakrik, not normally known for playing a lot of Hunters, but if there's ever a pick for him to do it, now would be the time he should lock in the Moosing Cop. Moosing Cop being considered as Achilles comes People through for Simplicity, but no, yet again, the Nuwa being valued. So it's double magical damage for their core. That wasn't a problem for Simplicity. They went beside in Kronos last game, so no reason why Flashpoint can't make it work too. But Simplicity take this Achilles away from Sibi. To be fair, I don't think Sibi was particularly impressive on it either way, but it's definitely going to be a strong pick for Maniac. It is. It's going to be difficult to lock down also. Like, whenever Rat is rotating around the jungle side, he's kind of evaluating what target he wants to gank early game. Mm -hmm. Achilles not on the top of this list. <laughs> no, not going to feel like one that you want to go grab as Poseidon gets banned out. So they're not sold on this Uller being for Death Panther just yet, though they do also ban the Freya, so maybe they're just kind of covering their options. That feels a little bit more like something that Streak Up would play over there in the long lane as Ares and Sir Cat get banned out. Those are both aggressive picks. Excuse me, not Sir Cat, Daji, excuse me. Those are two aggressive picks down there. They want to make sure they're taken off the board do uh, do Simplicity. Soul is still available if Simplicity wants to go for that magical ADC with Kronos <laughs> being locked in, Freya stripped away, Flashpoint, Soul Laner is Sibby, so of course, Sun Wukong <laughs> is going to be picked. It wouldn't be a Sibby game otherwise. No, their back is against the walls, they go back to the comfort picks, and Sun Wukong for Sibby is about as comfortable as it gets. He's had some struggles with it lately, we've seen him leaning on it and maybe not having success, but I like that he still has trust in himself on this pick. It's one of the ones that he made his name on, so go right back to it. Meanwhile, Simplicity are going to us this Susano. This is important for both of these teams to find a victory today My because they're simplicity right. win. That's it. They're in the MSI. It doesn't matter what happens for the rest of the split. But if Flashpoint can find a victory, then they're still in it. Totally. All that analysis is really good and really right. I just realized that I'm in a world where Merlin got ninth picked, and I don't know how to handle it. Last game, it wasn't picked or banned, in if the I recall. End, the Merlin? That's it. This yeah, is it wasn't picked world or banned. We haven't seen Jibalong game be picked or banned either, right? Like, yeah. uh, I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know. Kali comes through to give him a nice hyper carry. Now, this is curious. I had assumed this rat was being picked early for Johnny, but Kali's very much a Johnny pick. Mm -hmm. That makes me think, then, that this rat is going maybe solo and it's Su and Kong support? I think it could go either way. Sure. Honestly, I think Sibby, I think Sun Wukong, I obviously. think so, too. You're very right, yeah. Rat support was a thing back in the day not too popular now. Mm -hmm. I would rather have probably Sun Wukong in the support role for the long range poke against the mid player early as opposed to the soul laner that's going to be a little bit higher level to make those global rotations. Well, very interesting. Wondering where all these picks are going to go. Let's keep our eye on Flashpoint's draft and let's get things over there to aggro and taco as well. Game two, Simplicity trying to close it out and punch their ticket to the midseason invitational, but Flashpoint Standing in their way, it is going to be Ratatosker support, Taco. I mean, it 
changed it, it messed with simplicity they 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 went with some different bands they didn't ban away the Kali that Johnny likes so much and this is more Johnny's style but is this Fusify style I got to say if there's something that simplicity has ever wanted to try out it, I'm sure that they're probably a lot more relieved to be trying it out against a Ratatosker support I just I don't know, Agra. I I am not sold on, on the on the Rata support train. Yeah, it's Ratatoskr support and then Merlin ADC in this one as Finch correctly was losing his mind over a ninth pick Merlin in this game. Is it I mean look, the the dual lane is being left alone. You get all the solo farm in the world. Merlin really, really nuts in the late game. Is is it that simple? Is that the only reason we see this? Merlin can definitely control a Kronos, I think, in terms of lane clear and poke back potential. I, I don't think that it's going to be necessarily as easy for Kaspanify like it was for Streak Up in game one on the Kronos. So uh, Kaspanify is definitely going to have his own challenges to, to try and reach. Looks like Sibby was able to get his own blue buff amidst two here from Simplicity. The full acorns completed for Fusify. He doesn't have Blink. He's got a horrific emblem. He's lurking on this left-hand side. And Streak Up's free to, to, to just walk out from that position. If you don't have the Blink, it, it kind of eliminates the purpose of going for the acorn rush. You, you need the Blink so you can be aggressive. That's, that's the whole method behind it. And Fusify, actually, at level one, might have fallen victim to Streak Up had he tried to commit any further. But he'll just back off now. I think the only real benefit that's been gained here is the fact that Kispanify does have a slight experience lead over Streak Up, but prior to level 5, I, I can't say that that really amounts to a whole lot for Kronos. No, Kronos is not one of those gods that can really use their ultimate to abuse a lead. I mean, it lets them position slightly more aggressively, I guess, and then with the safety of Rewind, that's your benefit. It's not like on her or something like that, or Rom, where you get a bunch of kill potential all of a sudden. I'm still just too confused by, by the Rata Acorn Rush on the support aggro. I I don't know. It's like I could have seen, I could have been on board if he'd gone for the blink, but like just to see him have the horrific, I just don't understand how he ever plans on trying to collapse someone. They, they can just walk away. They really can. That's what Streak Up did the first time. He'll probably do it again. And Genetics is here to defend the red buff. No blessing at all quite yet for Fusify. I imagine he will end up going to a Guardian's Blessing, but he'll be way behind in what Genetics has on those stacks. And those stacks, the most important, I would say, among any of the blessings, because then you get that extra gold per minute, which is really the whole reason you're going Guardian's Blessing in the first place. Sure, the sustain is nice, but you can get sustain elsewhere. Can't get that extra GPM anywhere else. So Fusify is going to be pretty far behind in this one. He's already sitting incredibly low, I think, on that XP per minute chart. 220 is like starvation, especially for a support. And I, I can't imagine that his goal per minute is going to be looking much better without an Assassin's Blessing even, or, or a Guardian's Blessing to try and get a little bit of extra gold. He does go for the Guardian's Blessing secondary, but he's about 30 stacks behind genetics, as is with, uh, with that Blessing. It does give him a little bit of protection, so that could help out. Spanify has to use the rewind. That's the prot shred that Streak Up provides. Genetics able to outrange that stop time as well. Clean gank from Genetics, who also did not need the blink for what it's worth. But Spanify not doing what Streak Up was doing, which is hugging the opposite side wall of the jungle. With When you've got no blinks in the game at this point, everyone has purification beads. It's pretty much if you just hug that left side wall, you're safe. You're good. I mean, genetics could ambush you, but then you know he can't really chase you after the fact. I mean, this is you just gotta hug the wall. Kispanified, hugging the wall a little bit better, but without that rewind, we'll probably have to lose his purification beads if genetics tries to commit one more time, holding out for the Cobra's kiss and. To no surprise, Streak Up was prepared in the Pyro stance to follow up with the appropriate damage for genetics aggression, but it's tough trying to kill a Kronos after he gets that rewind online because it's it's like a third time's charm case scenario, and you have to make sure that, that third time you gank 
because Spainify hasn't waited out the duration of his next rewind. That's right, he's already halfway there so far, so not a huge window. Genetics also spending a lot of time over there means that he doesn't get that much farm. In fact, he's now behind Fusify in XP per minute after getting some stuff on the left-hand side, sure. But, I mean, if he has last breath there, because Spainify's dead, I think he should just wait a w an extra wave and get to his ultimate. But even now, he doesn't have the ultimate, so he must have been freshly level four whenever he first went over to gank. But everyone else from Simplicity is a solid level six, and I think that this is because of Genetic sacrificing a little bit of his own farm for his team. And I think that that's fair, because I, I know we were harping on Fusify, or I was at least, for Fusify not having the blink, but it's two different styles of play entirely. Sir Kent, you can kind of heckle people in the early game and not really have to sacrifice much because you have your boots, you have your Guardian's Blessing, you're still getting farm. But uh, for Fusify, I, I still feel like he definitely set himself back with this one. Yeah, I agree, but he hasn't been punished yet. Had an XP and doing okay for himself. Right side mid harp, he's a bit of a skirmish, ready to break out. Assassin supports both at the ready. Fusify gonna be the first one in. He's gonna stun, fails, and immediately go up into the sky. Death Panther actually already used the purification bead, but Fusify way off the mark on that ultimate. Now it's Johnny in a lot of trouble. He still has his ultimate. He might need it. No, those dots won't be enough to bring him down. Fusify gets stunned by Death Panther, who doesn't have a hail of arrows ready, and he's nearly out of mana. And here comes Sibi around the corner, but no 72 transformations for the stun. All of this for two little harpies. And it's not over just yet. Fails is still local to the solo side of the map, and. Well, what I thought was going to be an attempt towards a blue buff invade is actually just going to be Simplicity looking to farm out their own jungle. Meanwhile, Fusify is going to go ahead and drop his jungler's speed buff. Wanted to get a little bit of experience for himself since he is trying to maintain the small lead that he has acquired over Genetics. Genetics about to finish his Guardian's Blessing. and He'll go back to base and finish his boots. Looks like it might be a Glad Shield here for Fusify, I'd imagine. Could go for the early Void Shield. That seems a little bit expensive to me. I'd imagine that's that. It'll turn into a Gladiator Shield to let him just walk at people more effectively. That'd be uh, a steep cost investment, though, for Fusify if he opted for the early Void Shield. Glad Shield, I think, is a little bit more feasible. 1,700 gold just to have kind of another bridge item to tide you over. Because I don't think that Fusify is intending for this Rotatosker support to be a heavy damage dealer. I think that he really just wants the disruption through the Cosmos brings in team fights. That way Johnny can be left wide open to dive onto the back line further since most of the attention will undoubtedly be shifted towards Fusify. This late game is just nuts though for Flashpoint. I mean. Yes, the Rattatosker support's going to fall off very hard. But Wukong in the late game is very hard to lock down. Johnny's playing Kali, the best late game character, unless you think Kronos is better. But they already have him, too. They've got the two best late game gods in the game. If they can get it to the late game. I am not going to rule out Simplicity just smothering Flashpoint in the mid game because there is a lot of mid game potential for this Simplicity draft right now. You've got the Achilles, Uller, Merlin, arguably, and even fails on the Susano. Mid game is when you really start to see Susano begin to shine. Fails has had a pretty quiet early game so far, but so have both of these teams. Neither side has really taken much directive to try and force into the other. Absolutely. I mean, already fails has gotten out of the weakest part of the game. Susano is really as bad as Kali in the early game, in my mind. I mean, pre-5, even when you hit level 5, level 6, you feel really, really weak. Don't do enough damage. Your CC's there, but you just don't do enough damage. Whereas by now, you have the Crusher. You feel like you can 1v1 just about anybody. And Fails might be looking to do that here. Again, the right side mid harpy is the point of contestion between these two. Fusify uses his ultimate as CC immunity and looks for Fails, but again, he's off the mark. Fails, the purification beads were there, but still not enough. 
as Fusify does end up getting the first blood onto the enemy. Jungler, too far forward there for Fails. He got CC chained easily. I don't think Fails was expecting to be made the target. Probably thought that Flashpoint had genetics in mind or, or maybe even Death Panner since Death Panner wasn't standing in Axe stance and at competitive levels of play, that's usually when we see Ulers get collapsed on is when they are in the bow stance. But it's it's Susana, a lot of mobility, but not in such a tight space. The right mid harpies are kind of difficult to get out of. With the AOE coming from the ultimate from Fuse 5. Oh, again, he's 0 for 2 now on those ultimates landing. We're exactly where he wants them. Should have enough to finish off the Void Shield. It is the Void Shield pickup instead of Glad Shield this time around. I mean, I agree it does. It's, it's much, much more expensive. But it is pretty good. I mean, it's a good item. He got that 400 gold off the, off the first button and yeah. falling out. He's not balling on a budget anymore. Just buys whatever he wants. Upgraded He's... from uh, walnuts to pistachios. You know, I still think almonds are the best nut, though. Yeah, but aren't pistachios like one of the most expensive? Yeah, they're what's, dummy What's expensive. a more expensive nut than pistachios? I don't think there is one. I think they're the, the most expensive. Which is ridiculous because you also have to do the most work when it comes to pistachios. You have to, like, de-shell them yourself. Good things take time. Yeah, but why am I paying so much more if they can't? If they were to de-shell them for me, I'd understand. Well, you could also, you know, pay a leg and an arm to get them peeled for you. I mean, yeah, but I'm not making That's first. That's like a twenty dollars investment. I'm not making first blood money out here, Taco. You know, I'm I'm just trying to live my life. And I've, and like peanuts are cheap, and you have to you have to take those out of their shell. So why are pistachios so expensive? Uh, I don't I don't want to I don't want to begin this peanuts discussion because I feel like it's gonna it's gonna change a lot of your. Views. What do you, you don't like peanuts? Well, it's not that I don't like peanuts, but like, I just eat peanuts whole. Hold on. I like the shell. Hold on. With the peanut. Oh, no. I'm not Taco. trolling. <laughs> That's not food. It's there to protect the peanut Look, from, from the from There's a reason predators. I don't eat in public. <laughs> you eat the peanuts. All right. Okay, wait. You have to like go into Five Guys and just grab a handful of peanuts, shell it all. I did this at Texas Roadhouse, actually. You just um, popped them in? I just popped them in, yeah. What was the worker's reaction? Um, honey, are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right. I still remember. Yeah, that does sound right. I don't know, man. I, I can't explain these things to you. They I aren't just, like... I have very odd eating habits that... Honestly, only Maddie has been unfortunate enough to see. You are, I mean, you aren't wasteful. That's for sure. You're, you're using every part of the buffalo, as the Native Americans used to do. But man. Fun fact, my ancestry is actually the Papil tribe. Is that Native American? Um, well, I mean, technically, yeah. Oh, it's like there El you go. Fusify 0 for 3 now. We'll see how he does in his at-bat in the fourth inning. If he had three at-bats through three innings, that'd be, a, that'd be a lot. So that's probably not my best analogy. But still looking for a home on that Ratatoskr ultimate. This is the, the pace that we expect, though, with, with a draft is late game slanted as flashpoints. I mean, you, you, you are fine playing 35 minutes from now because your, your draft just does that better. Cheeky, though, from Maniac and Fails trying to... Uh -oh. Challenge Civi and Civi still out securing with the cudgel, by the way. A little unfortunate there for Simplicity's solo and jungler. But Maniac's gonna harass Civi on his way to the blue buff. Won't let him get it for free. Still gonna smack him from behind. Fails going for probably a Hydra's Lament, I would imagine. No Warlock Staff this time for Kaspanify on the on the Chrono. Streak Up did it last game when he was in control of the Magical Hunter, but this time Kaspanify going for the bigger acceleration, the, the, the faster build in the Demonic Grip. I guess this is, we don't even need me to have that in the late game, right? So may as well just take something early in case Simplicity start to fight us. It, it's really up to player preference, I think, for Kronos, whether you want to go for the double ring build, because he could be opting for the Telkines immediately after the Demonic Grip, continue building into some of that base movement speed with both of these rings, and you just get tons of attack speed, which I, I think 
is kind of the idea here for Flashpoint. You've already got the Kali, Far Crick even with the new wall. So this is a soft auto attack based composition from Flashpoint that can definitely destroy objectives and towers if Simplicity aren't careful or aren't actually challenging Flashpoint. And I, I actually want to address what you just mentioned with that going super late. I mean, it's obvious the intent from Flashpoint is to just continue farming as safely as possible. And, and even though Simplicity have been feeding into that in a sense, I also feel like it kind of works against Flashpoint because Simplicity, they're not meant to take over in the mid game or in the early game or even necessarily the late game. They want to close this out before it gets to late and destroy Flashpoint in the mid section where their composition is arguably the strongest. I feel like this is the time though, right? I mean, 16 minutes, we're solidly in the mid game, I would say. That you've got tons of big power spikes now finished. Gem of Isolation for Streak Up fails. Get one with Transcendence instead of the Hydra's Lament, so just more outright ability damage. Less focus on the auto-canceling. This is the time. Uh, void Shield for Maniac. I, I don't disagree with you that they're okay to tell you to, to about this point, but I mean, this is where you have to start making something happen, in my mind, of your simplicity. And Gold Fury is going to be the reason why I think we see Flashpoint first having to respond to Simplicity. It fails in Death Banner, already have position around this Gold Fury pit, and Flashpoint know that Simplicity are in the area, so they're doing what they can to respond, but just like that, Simplicity, they see four bodies from Flashpoint, and they just back off entirely. Well, Sibby was proxying, so they didn't know exactly where he was. Maybe they were concerned about his rotation. Now Maniac will check him. <laughs> I'm thinking we got another 10 minutes at least until until a team fight. So, as far as the peanuts discussion is concerned, all right? Yeah, we, you we, have we you got some explaining to right? do. Okay, yeah. so there's not really much explaining to be had. I, okay. I have weird eating habits. I think we everybody that works with me should already be aware of this. It's true. I've watched you eat chicken wings, all of them, the Whole, bone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know. For some people, it probably they're probably still just trying to think that the the bone. No yeah. way. You can't, you can't eat. I ate the bones. <laughs> I ate the bones, but you actually did. But you were like an, on purpose. Is there anything that you can think of that you eat unlike anybody else? Um, Probably not. Oh, hello. Sibby taking a lot of damage. He's not even going to get a chance to get under that somersault. Cloud fails, gets the last hit. But a lot of that damage was courtesy of streak up. No, I mean, I just don't. I don't eat anything with sauce, really. Um, when I was young, I didn't eat spaghetti sauce at all. But I've since matured. I think that's fair. Gold Fury down below 15%. Knockups there. Simplicity do get the Gold Fury. And Fusify is going to fall to Streak Up's damage as well. Johnny will not be receiving a hill no matter what. And Genetics will get the last hit on that one, courtesy of his ultimate. Because Spainify already has to use Purification Beat. Slow is beautiful. Rewind does get off in time. And Kispainify off to the races to the left-hand side, but a beautiful fight for Simplicity. Three for one, Gold Fury included. And they may be able to keep it going. Kind of just damage check as well for Simplicity, and Flashpoint just buckled underneath that amount of pressure. This Merlin, level 18, yep. by the way, that's just been left completely to his own devices in that dual lane. Well, it seemed like it was beneficial for Kispainify, but... I, I think Streak Up was definitely loving having zero answers to, to his safety farm. Yeah, he just backed, backed and bought a full Shaman's Ring. That'll help. Pyromancer started by Flashpoint, down to about half. Maniac might be able to make it in time, or Genetics. No reset, actually. Sibby let it go. Flashpoint still get the objective, but it takes them a minute longer than they would have liked. And that buys time for fails to get here. Somersault Cloud used, as is that through the Cosmos. Fusify again strikes out on that throw, but ends up being A-OK. -okay. Flashpoint have to expend three ultimates in order to get the Pyromancer, but they do get it. And now I imagine they Simplicity just gets to group up and keep the fight rolling. No ultimates on the other side. Very few relics available either. No beads on Ferrocrick or Kispainify. Good time to play aggressive if you're Simplicity. That felt like a heavy investment for 
a not as big objective there. And now Flashpoint also going to end up losing their T1 tower because of the fact that they expended so many ultimates just trying to disengage. It felt like the, the team comps were a little bit split there. Fusify seemed as though he wanted to further commit onto genetics, but the rest of Flashpoint seemed way more interested in just leaving that area in general. And Simplicity more than happy to just let Flashpoint burn out their, their own actives, their own ultimates, because there isn't really anything left to fight over. And with that T1 tower being gone, I think Simplicity also has an advantage now on this next Fire Giant attempt, if there is going to be one, um, because Flashpoint will have to resort to retreating to the T2 tower, and, and that's a lot harder to get to than that T1. Simplicity's in a good spot. Despite this Uller mid not really doing a whole lot for me here, Taco. I mean, very, very low on the player damage is Death Panther. It is not normally you'd expect the Uller to really be able to bully out a Nuwa, play aggressive, hit your axe stun a lot. It's like a gentleman's agreement, though, from these two teams. Like, let's just not attack until 16 minutes. Seem fair? I, I feel like player damage as a whole is excruciatingly low, Very low for both of these teams it's just because of the fact that neither side ha has really been all that enthusiastic for starting the fight. Nice stun that time from Death Panther, looking for Fusify. He's got to use the ultimate and Faircrick had to use the beads. He's looking for nothing. Again, Fusify another rough ultimate. He gets punished immediately upon landing. Streak up with yet another kill. 2-0-2 two, and two for the Merlin. Sibby tries to all in to kill Fails, and he's gonna lose his life for it. Johnny there, but a shell's perfect. He's gotta use the beads and the ultimate, but Johnny's dead too. Another last breath is gonna get the kill for Genetics. That Sirket has been a real nightmare for Johnny to deal with, and this Merlin has been a nightmare for everybody on Flashpoint to deal with. This is uh, just another example that Merlin is good. I feel like if Johnny knew that he wanted Kali, then Flashpoint should have probably prioritized taking away the circuit from Genetics or anybody from Simplicity, really. I, I just, I, I feel like Johnny is kind of playing into the hand of Simplicity, and I understand he wants the late game carry potential that a Kali can provide, but she also needs to make sure that a last breath isn't on her for that to really take effect. And if Genetics can just hold his ultimate throughout the entire duration of a team fight, hold that thought though, because Fusify trying to take a gamble here on this Fire Giant, but I'm just not sure if this Fire Tosker is going to be able to outconfirm. Nope, Simplicity able to secure it. Damage coming from Sibby and from Faircrick over the top of that Fire Shards. Maniac undeterred will eventually turn and run with that Fatal Strike. Kispainify just enough to force him back. But a Fire Giant for Simplicity. Great objective damage between the Uller and the Merlin. Secures that one with ease for Simplicity. And really, I mean, sure, the Sirket pick has been a real nightmare for Johnny. But at the end of the day, this rat selection for Fusify has been just awful. It's been real bad. I think if he gets at least one good through the Cosmos, then I can see some possible merit, but it, it's kind of a double whammy at this point now. First, he starts off with an Acorn Rush and doesn't have the blink, so he gets zero benefit out of that whatsoever. And the Serific Emblem as well, I, I think that as a whole, the intent behind it was kind of good, but you're going against a mostly ability comprised composition. So I I'm just not really certain that the auto attacks were even really necessarily the focus for Simplicity. I just, I I don't understand the, the purpose of, of the start, of the support choice, or of the relic. I mean, I guess it's to open up the draft, make them not ban Johnny's God Pool, and it did that, but you still need to be able to but make it threatening. They picked the Kali into the Sirket, though. I yeah, know. I mean, Simplicity first picked Sirket, so that's always something you have to worry about, but it definitely has not worked so far for Flashpoint. All of that being said, they're only down 5,000 and some change in gold. Uh oh, Johnny just got caught backing by fails. He's going to use that destruction ultimate. Hey, uh, last breath, and uh, hey, uh, you're dead to that again. That's been happening quite a bit. Good catch. That time by fails, puts Johnny in an 0-3 hole. And as I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by another kill, 
It's not over. Flashpoint's late game, still insane. But we, uh, we're reaching a point of concern. I think we've been in a point of concern, and I think I think you're trying to pull off a soft one here, but I trying understand to help him out. it. I get it, but Qsify having just gotten a chance to back to base. The other issue too is that this isn't the holdout comp that we saw from Flashpoint in game one. I think that this Rod of Toss for support definitely allows for much more leeway that Simplicity can kind of work in and, and look for future dive opportunities underneath these Phoenixes in comparison to the last game. But I don't know. It's just, it's so tough for Sibi, I think, at, at this point, because the Sun Wukong is really the only true frontlining member, I feel, for Flashpoint right now. And he can only survive so much because there is just an enormous amount of shred thanks to Streak Up. Link in from Maniac. Onna can spainify. A couple stuns are there. Fail's gonna follow in with a blink of his own. Farrakrik's gotta use his purification beads and his ultimate just to stay safe. Fusefy has a chance on this ultimate. Still unable to find anything, though he was so low that time that nothing he could have done if he wanted to land in, in the team fight. No, no problem with that ultimate. Needed to use it defensively as Johnny again hunted down. Genetics has the ultimate, gonna use the horrific emblem instead. Now drops the ult onto Johnny, who shouldn't even need to use destruction this time around, at least not until right now. Well, Last Breath has worn off, so he'll get a heal, but it won't be a big one as he only gets the one for it expiring. Fusify expires himself. Sibi again lands in the midst of the team, though Bullform does some good work for him that time. To get him out of the danger. Fire Giant's falling off of Simplicity, but they aren't falling off this Phoenix quite yet. Death Panther trying to put some damage in. Death Panther, though, probably one of the healthier members right now from Flashpoint. And even though the Phoenix didn't wind up falling, Simplicity still get a pretty decent map shove in the end and, and are able to bring down that T2 tower, making it even more restricting for Flashpoint if they're choosing to challenge this next enhanced fire giant. And also, I I honestly feel like we're at a point now where, where Flashpoint don't really have much of a choice. They're going to have to challenge this next enhanced fire giant. And it, the jungle fight is probably going to be their best opportunity for catching Simplicity off guard. Gold Fury's up in a bit, but fire giant up first. Gold lead now nearly 10k is only one tower left standing on Flashpoint side of the map. Each minute that goes by does make Flashpoint stronger, specifically Kaspainify with that Kronos passive. Chin size almost done for Johnny. They're getting there, slowly but surely. They just need to win a team fight at this point. And I think they're in a pretty decent position, even down by this much gold. It seems a bit easier said than done. You've been behind by this much all game. Stuns on to Fusify. CC Chain is there. And that time didn't get a chance to use a single defensive option. Beautiful blink pull. Gets ultimate out from Farrakrik and still fails. Is going to keep it rolling. Typhoon knocks up all three. Maniac there alongside him. That stun not on the mark for Farrakrik. But Johnny's here. Shell beautiful by Genetics. And fails still on the run. Finally, Kaspainify is going to hunt him down. But Genetics last breath does the duty again against Johnny. Rewind solid to keep Kaspainify alive if Sibi does finally put Streak up on the respawn. But he will soon join him. Death Panther gets one. And it was in a bloodbath. Simplicity get four dead but lose three in the process. And it's only Kaspainify, a half-health Kronos at that left to try and play defense, already using the timer before the wave is approached, and now that's going to give Genetics the green light to try and go in here. Fusify up into the air on this group Cosmos, opts for the kill though, instead of looking at Death Panner, and Death Panner not gonna unable get it. to give his life for the cause. Just a sliver of HP left on that Phoenix, and that's the door opening for Flashpoint. Kaspainify does exactly what late game Kronos is supposed to do, Nearly die, get a rewind off, kill the person that nearly killed him, and then stay alive and end up winning the fight for his squad. He's got Rod of Tahuti now as well. And as I mentioned, even though the gold lead was pretty significant in Simplicity's favor, I think it was only going to take one fight for it to feel like Flashpoint was really in it, and that was the one. Now they're down 
a little bit less, about 6 or 8k rather at this point. You've I mean you're level 20 on Kali and Kronos. You got 5 to 6 items on both. You're chilling. One thing's for sure, the Frostyak has to die a lot sooner. Excuse me, not Frostyak. Fails needs yeah. to die a lot sooner. I'm so used to seeing Frostyak on the Susano that it's just become second nature at this point. But I, I think that it was incredible that Fails even managed to survive for that long. The level of appeal, though, that Simplicity brought to the table there for their jungler was unreal. Fire Giant started it's by Flashpoint. Now it's the first time that Simplicity has been on the defensive in this game. How well will they be able to do their counter engage is the question. They don't have to worry for long because it looks like Flashpoint's giving up positioning. Johnny on the receiving end of some good poke damage from Genetics. Nearly walked into more. Indeed he does. Death Panther with a beautiful hail of arrows, hail of arrows over the wall. Brings Johnny down a little bit further. Uh, Flashpoint kind of Gave up a, a little bit of positioning, though, around this enhanced fire giant. And Simplicity still not willing to let go of Johnny just yet. Maniac's actually going to blink in onto the Kali. Genetics able to take his purification beads in the process. Horrific has come out one more time. And the blink wow. invested as well from Johnny. And Flashpoint's jungler essentially not going to have the opportunity to go on the back line. Bales takes a big chunk of damage. Sibby blinked in and delivered. But Faircrick's ultimate use as well. Johnny was able to hold on to destruction. That's a big deal. He'll need it. But unluckily for him, Genetics also held on to his ultimate. As a quick pause coming out here by Johnny. As we have reached parity in this one. Sure, Flashpoint's down in kills. They're down a bit in gold. But overall, I mean, this is exactly where they wanted to be. 40 minutes in with a Kronos and a Kali. Almost like a coin flip of a game at this point because yeah. of the fact that this Kronos and Kali were permitted to enter the, the level 20 full-on late game phase. And Gaspain, if I already gave us a little taste of, of what to expect if Simplicity aren't careful, that right-hand Phoenix defense, honestly, a, a huge saving grace for Flashpoint and keeping their hopes alive of being guaranteed through to MSI. Simplicity still in this one, though. I mean, they've they've certainly played better than Flashpoint thus far. Flashpoint's really just won one fight that put them back in the game, and their composition has really done the rest for them. I think Simplicity's played very well. Maniac's been much more cognizant of how deep he's going in these team fights. He only has one death on the record. Fails has died more than anybody else, but he's done his job in those engagements. Sometimes you're supposed to die. I feel like Death Panner has been surprisingly quiet on yeah. this Uller. I, I definitely was expecting a, a lot more aggression coming out of Simplicity's mid laner, and oh, well, we might find that aggression from Fusify as he blinks in and drops the horrific right on top of Streak Up. And Streak Up returns quite a bit of damage of his own. Fusify down to about 20%. So he's positioned as if he's going in, but decides against it. He'll back it up. Streak Up didn't expend anything, though, in order to get away from that taco. No beads, no Aegis. Fusify wasn't able to make him respect him enough. Purification beads, on the other hand, forced by Genetics. This has been the difference so far. It has just been Genetics' level of play over Fusify's in this game. I mean, Genetics has been incredible in a lot of these fights and engagements, and, and Fusify just simply hasn't been. And I don't even think it's necessarily limited to the fact he's on Reddit Oscar. As Sibi not even going to get a chance to go up into that Somersault Cloud. This could mean go for Simplicity, but Maniacs are fire right now. He's got to use Fatal Strike, but Johnny on the receiving end. He's dead. Destruction was available, but it wouldn't have mattered with that last breath there from Genetics. Again, fails with a two-man win siphon. No rewind this time. It's a triple for Streak Up on the Merlin. You should be picking this god. That's... The moral of this story, Simplicity going to MSI. I still can't believe it was a Merlin ninth pick. I'm, I'm still letting that one sink in. I think Flashpoint may have some time to let it sink in. Four losses in a row for this squad. Again, they only need to win one more set in order to make it to MSI in the final few weeks. Without cold, really running hot right now, Flashpoint really falling off the cliff, it feels like. How do you feel confident at, the, at that point? You know, I mean, I feel like Flashpoint, they were the number one team all phase, and all of a sudden, they only need to win one more set, and I just, I just don't know that I see it.
You know what they say, it's not about how you start, it's about how you finish. And if you're Very not going to finish strong, well, there's going to be other teams, I think, looking to snag up the opportunity. And out cold, looking like a very likely candidate. Man, it's going to be a lot of fun to watch these final few weeks in the EU SML. But congratulations to Simplicity. We will see them here in Atlanta at LAN for the Midseason Invitational. Let's throw it over to Finch and Tully to break it down. Yeah, those are some faces we got used to seeing last year as well, so expected to come back here as part of the SML one more time. A big win for Simplicity. And I don't know, Tolly, I'm sure you've got a whole bunch of analysis. You're a smart guy. You know a lot about Smite. For me, it's just Merlin's good, and I think you should have him on your team. Yeah, it doesn't matter if it goes <laughs> in the mid-roll for Death Panther or in the 100 position for Apparently Streak it Up. Yeah. It's going to work out at the end of the day. You can just tell by the end of that last fight how much impact the Merlin had where they were trying to engage. Fusify on the Ratatasker, tried yeah. to make the impact pack by going in, drops the upgrade to Horrific Emblem with the Blink, and then ulties away. None of his teammates follow up. Sibi dies before he even gets into the cloud. The ultimate coming through from the Sir was just beautifully placed. I think the Achilles and the Merlin combined heavily outweighing the Arthur Nuwa. I think so too, and that's even with, I think, the Uller being a little bit less impact than you might have expected to from Death Parent in the middle lane. It didn't seem to matter much. Genetics Man, just for me, really impressed this set on the on, on the Sir Ket in the support role for me. Wh wh whichever game it was he played at both games and he really helped facilitate this team to getting off to a great start. I mean, it's just kind of what Sir Ket does. It's just such a boon that you're able to do a lot of the same stuff that makes Sir Ket so strong while still building your tanky. I mean, Talaria boots into Blackthorn's not that different from a normal Sir Ket path, so you're still getting a lot of that same value, and genetics absolutely showed it off. As long as you're CCing that one individual target, it doesn't really matter if you're tanky or not. Last breath is still going to be last breath. You're exactly right. Yeah. With uh, all the tanky items regardless. Fails was even doing a decent job this game, but Streak up playing lights out to wrap that game up and solidifying simplicity into the MSI. Yeah, we're very excited to get to see these guys. They've absolutely earned this spot and even stronger perhaps than what they used to be with Maniac now on this roster too. That man, a no stranger to Lance either, but 7-1-7 seven, and seven coming up from Streak up on the Merlin. It's really hard not to make that your headline. For what it's worth, he did close with a triple kill. Yeah. So four of those kills came there. And to be fair, this wasn't free. Flash point got a deicide like what five or six minutes before the end of this game maybe That's even true. closer where it really looked like they had started to turn that corner where john Jonas Kali was starting to come online where Caspain fire on the chronos was really becoming a late game problem but i think their problem was that they had this rat in support and they didn't know how to engage or how to initiate a fight it hurts Caspainify with the front line that flashpoint picked four one and one on the chronos was a good way to end the game but his team not benefiting from that slash line because their front line just absolutely melted to streak sub damage. Yeah. 26,000 damage, no runic shield adaptations. Fusibi and Fusify didn't build this item and streak up on the Hunter Merlin was just dominating, top of the player damage charts. He was absolutely causing problems, I agree. I mean, like, you described it just now. What was that last engagement from Fusify? It was Blink Horrific. And then ulti out. And then he ulted to disengage. You're exactly right. I mean, you're right that no one followed up, but also, I don't know that you follow up on that, right? It's it's not much of anything, really, in, in a fight like that, especially that spread out from everyone else. So that was just kind of a symptomatic, I think, of the problems they had throughout that set, which is that it was hard for them to get into that back line. And because of this win now, Simplicity guaranteed their spot into the MSI, but this doesn't uh, completely eliminate Flashpoint's chances. Not at all. I would still even say that they're the favorite. Let's go ahead and take a look at those standings. Should be updated for you. Simplicity up at the top. Remember, Out Cold did win their game earlier, so they're still closing in on them, but they're going to need a little bit of help. Flashpoint, they're going to need Flashpoint to drop to Queso 2, along with controlling their own fate insofar as if they can beat Flashpoint in their next head-to-head -head matchup, and then hope that they can beat them out with that plus-minus and join Simplicity here at the Midseason Invitational. There's going to be a lot of luck needed for Out Cold Gaming to squeeze into that number two spot. Flashpoint would need to lose out. Out Cold Gaming would need to win out. Yes. Flashpoint just win one more set. That's it. Out Cold Gaming are out of the races. They're in there just that easily. And really, you got to think that some of those early struggles from Out Cold now, they're kind of kicking themselves for. A lot of what felt like maybe avoidable stuff where they couldn't get the roster together that they, that they actually wanted. I don't know if they were that happy with their support play for a while. They're two and they didn't seem like they were all on the same page. They've really locked it in now. They look like the team we expected. It just feels like it might 
be too late, Tolly. I don't know. We'll see because this is looking very grim and dim for Flashpoint the way they've been playing for the yeah. past couple of weeks because I think Alcohol Gaming have been stepping it up. Flashpoint on the bad end of things. You're right. I think they were like a four-week losing streak or something like that, three or four weeks. So it's yeah. been a lot in a row. It's really been rough for those guys. But believe it or not, that is just Europe. We still have plenty more SML coming your way. North America is what's going to be up next. So refill the chips, the drink, whatever you need, and get right back here.